Welcome back to our anime explainer. Today is explanation of upcoming episode Throne of Seal based on novel. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. So let's start. On the morning of the second day, Long Houchen went on a walk with Saima Zian to tell the people from the Yui Chamber of Commerce that they would be passing by the southeastern fort. Then, the group of seven took the initiative to leave Starseeker City, directly heading for the southeastern fort Long Houchen didn't tell his comrades about everything that happened the day before, determined to handle this matter on his own. When reaching the southeastern fort, and arriving at the hotel arranged for them by the Yu Yi Chamber of Commerce, Long Houchen left by himself. Caia originally wanted to come along, but was stopped by Long Houchen. With simple inquiries, Long Houchen looked for his destination, the headquarters of the Warrior Temple, Please forward the message that the captain of the 64th Commander Grade Demon Hunt Squad, Long Houchen, seeks for an interview with the head of the Warrior Temple. Long Houchen told the guard on duty at the Warrior Temple, while showing his own Demon Hunt Squad's tile. To be capable of becoming a guard of the Warrior Temple, he naturally was prudent and hastened to give Long Houchen a warrior salute, before taking his tile and making a report. Seeing that at this age, Long Houchen was the captain of a demon hunt squad that managed to rise to the commander grade, it was clear that their demon hunt squad would very possibly reach the king, or even the emperor grade in the future. This kind of commander grade demon hunt squad was treated quite differently. The six temples were all assigned to guard a fort, forming the defensive line of the temple alliance. On the southeastern border, the warrior temple had the absolute authority. And because the southeastern fort, was the closest to the central province of the demon territory, demon hunt squads would frequently be stopping here and visiting the higher-ups of the warrior temple, communicating with each other, or even seeking for help sometimes. Thus, Long Houchen's request for a meeting was a very normal thing, though it wouldn't be easy to tell whether the head of the warrior temple would be willing to meet him. Long Houchen's look was very peaceful, and today, he specifically changed into the glorious holy armor to come to this place. A short time later, that guard was already back, and with him came a forty-something middle-aged man. This middle-aged man was clad in red, extremely tall and bulky. His build actually made Saima Zian pale in comparison. Looking at Long Houchen, he was also startled, whoa, really young. So you're the captain of the 64th Commander Grade Demon Hunt Squad, Long Houchen. Long Houchen nodded, hello, yes I am. The middle-aged man laughed out loud, Captain Long is really young. I am the auxiliary head of the warrior temple named Xu Zhengliang. Welcome, Captain Long. Saying this, he made a gesture in the direction of Long Houchen. With a nod, Long Houchen followed this auxiliary head inside the warrior temple. The warrior temple looked less elegant compared to the priest temple, and more simple and awe-inspiring. After the entrance was an immense hall. The roof, reaching a height of 30 meters, gave a very wide feeling. And right in front of the door, in the middle position of the hall of the warrior temple, stood a sculpture. Seeing it, Long Houchen couldn't help but stop his advance, giving a respectful look to this sculpture before performing a knight salute. His right fist placed against the chest of his glorious holy armor made a metallic colliding sound. Xu Zhongliang couldn't help but stop his steps, seeing Long Houchen in a new light with an increasingly good opinion. To the warrior temple, this sculpture was a sign of supreme glory. Since this person was clad in knight armor, he was clearly a knight. But by giving such respectful salutations to this sculpture in his first moments here, how would he not have gained the favorable opinion of this auxiliary head of the warrior temple? And furthermore, Xu Zhongliang appeared straightforward, but was actually pretty meticulous, and had a good eyesight to judge people. He was entirely certain, that the respect Long Houchen paid to this sculpture came from the depths of his heart. It was a matter of course that Long Houchen was sincere. Beside this sculpture stood a horizontal inscribed board. On it the words, a sword of thousand years. That's right, this was the sculpture of the holy sword wielder Yi Wushang. It could be said that over the past several decades, the greatest genius that had ever appeared in the six great temples was Yi Wushang. He even sparked the hope that the warrior temple could gain the leading position among the six great temples, and that they would all get gathered under his command. Unfortunately, this holy sword wielder died too early. Back then, 
When Yi Wushang died in battle against the demon god emperor, all the warriors from the Temple Alliance had worn a white cloth as a sign of mourning. And because of that battle, the warrior temple gained enormously in status. But unfortunately, since that time, no other genius of Yi Wushang's scale had ever appeared again in the warrior temple. It was the first time Long Haochen saw a sculpture of Yi Wushang. His appearance wasn't as outstanding as his fame. Actually, he looked rather close to an ordinary person. The stone Yi Wushang was inclined, his sword held horizontally in front of him. Faintly, his great spirit could be perceived. However, after watching it for a short time, Long Haochen lightly shook his head. The expression on Xu Zhongliang's face changed, Captain Long, so you. Long Haochen sighed with sorrow, it's a pity that this sculpture doesn't portray the sword intent of ancestor Yi Wushang. The sculpture seems close to an empty shell. In fact, this sculpture of Yi Wushang was already a masterpiece, yet Long Haochen couldn't help, but want it to look even better. On the first floor of the Tower of Eternity, the sculpture of the slumbering calamity, the holy necromancer Elux, had given him a too shocking impression of perfection. Depicting even his powerful bearing and his expressions, it was basically a perfect reproduction. In comparison, this sculpture of Yi Wushang naturally seemed imperfect. From hearing Long Haochen's last words, the good impression Xu Zhongliang just had of him seemed to have vanished completely. Captain Long, please don't be overcritical on the sculpture of our warrior temple's hero. Otherwise, even if you are a demon hunter, I will still want to challenge you to defend the honor of our warrior temple. Long Haochen looked slightly startled. This made him realize that his words were indeed quite rude, sorry, I need to apologize towards you. I was impetuous. It's just that in those years, ancestor Yi Wushang was called the sword of a thousand years, yet it's a shame that his sword intent isn't expressed by this sculpture. If this could be done, perhaps someone would come to gain some understanding because of it. Xu Zhongliang gave Long Haochen an earnest look, thinking secretly to himself that this youngster was really a sincere one. With a sigh, he declared, it would just be too hard to let the sword intent of Commander Yi appear in the sculpture. Even in those days, no one in the faction of Commander Yi could really imitate his sword intent, to say nothing of now. Commander Yi. Long Haochen asked curiously. Xu Zhongliang replied, Commander Yi was not only the master of our warrior temple, but also the commander-in-chief of the three armies in the southeastern fort. The ancestors all addressed him as a venerable mister. Long Haochen nodded in silence, replying, Hall Master Xu, do you know when I could meet the noble head of the warrior temple? Xu Zhongliang was startled, thinking to himself, underscore this kid really wants to meet the head. Doesn't he seem to see himself too much like a great character? Long Haochen naturally anticipated his thoughts, and earnestly explained, Hall Master Xu, this time, I came to the warrior temple for three matters, and among them, I can ask for your help for two of them. But I will need to meet the temple head for the most important one. Xu Zhongliang wrinkled his brows, I'm afraid that meeting the temple head will be a bit difficult since he's busy with matters. Long Haochen faced the sculpture right in front, declaring calmly, what if I said it relates to ancestor Yi Wushang? What? Xu Zhongliang was shocked, related to Commander Yi. Captain Long, can you tell me what this is about? Long Haochen didn't try to beat around the bush and nodded, it is about the suggestion I just gave. I should be able to accomplish it. I can bestow this sculpture with the sword intent belonging to Commander Yi. Xu Zhongliang gasped, and didn't believe that no matter what. However, he didn't question Long Haochen, because he understood clearly that even the captain of an emperor-grade demon hunt squad wouldn't possibly do this sort of joke in the warrior temple. If this was really a joke, this act would really be too condescending toward the warrior temple, and no one would dare assume the consequences. Captain Long, you, you. Xu Zhongliang felt unable to express his feelings. He certainly wished for all this to be real, but this Captain Long before his eyes was really too young. Long Haochen lifted his right hand and earnestly said, I have just arrived with my squad from Holy City. I don't know whether your warrior temple has already received the news about the awakening of the Divine Sword, formerly belonging to Ancestor Yi, that happened several months ago. Xu Zhongliang clearly felt his own heartbeat quicken. Of course, he heard of that matter, and the warrior temple had already dispatched an auxiliary head to investigate. However, when looking for Commander Yi's descendant Yi Wei Yang, she only told them that she didn't agree to disclose the identity of the person who obtained the sword of Commander Yi. If that person was willing, he would naturally get in touch with the warrior temple. 
She also told them that the new master accepted by the Divine Sword was a knight, therefore, it wasn't likely that it would return to the Warrior Temple. This matter shook the higher-ups of the Warrior Temple, but since Yi Wei Yang was the descendant of Commander Yi, they couldn't force her no matter what. All they could do was secretly search for the knight, who had inherited Yi Wuxiang's aria of the Goddess of Light of. They actually even made contact with the Knight Temple. Only, after several months passed, that person never showed himself. In the meanwhile, hearing Long Haochen mention that, Xu Zhongliang's shock was as one might well imagine. Xu Zhongliang saw Long Haochen's right hand that appeared to be of a brilliant golden color, emit a soft golden light. It materialized quietly, and immediately, a cold sword intent flashed from it. This trip to the warrior temple was obviously not only to handle that military head of Starseeker City. That was just some side errand. The most important objective for him was to deliver the sword intent of Yi Wuxiang. That was the primary reason for his trip to the warrior temple. A short time later, a dozen men entered the hall from the staircase. In front of them was an elder clad in a deep golden gown. This elder had a shock of silver hair, but gave off immense pressure, standing as domineering as a mountain. Xu Zhongliang and the others, some of them possessing a tyrannical presence, followed at the back of this elder, and directly headed towards Long Haochen. The elder in the golden gown revealed an excited expression, heading towards Long Haochen's side in large strides. However, just as if he didn't see him, Long Haochen was still staring fervently at that sculpture of the Sword of a Thousand Years. Xu Zhongliang was about to say something, only to be stopped by the elder's hand. His eyes flashing with an extraordinary splendor, he murmured some words telling him not to disturb Long Haochen, as he stood near him, scrutinizing this handsome youth closely. No less than half an hour later, Long Haochen suddenly opened his eyes wide, and stepped forward with his left foot, as his right hand moved forward like a bolt of lightning. Indistinctly, a faint golden radiance followed his movement. With a very carefree feeling a sigh escaped from his mouth, and instantly, sharp hissing sounds rang out in the whole hall. The hissing disappeared in a flashing second, but the higher-ups of the warrior temple standing nearby were still filled with surprise. They had distinctly perceived the power in Long Haochen's right hand. Without any fluctuation of spiritual energy, it was merely filled with pure sword intent. Just who was this youth, your Long Haochen? The elder in the golden gown finally spoke, though his voice surprisingly seemed to be shaking slightly. Long Haochen had a fright, discovering that another person stood at his side. Turning around, he happened to face the enraged elder in the golden gown. Senior, you. On his side, Xu Zhongliang hastened to say, this person is the head of our warrior temple, temple head Chiu Yonghao. Long Haochen stamped the ground with his left foot, placing his right fist on his chest, captain of the 64th commander grade Long Haochen salutes, temple head. After observing him for quite a long time, Chiu Yonghao spoke, you're the son of the old pal Xingyu, aren't you? As expected, a young hero. I really didn't think that the divine sword of Commander Yi actually chose you as its master. Can you let me see the aria of the goddess of light of ancestor Yi? He truly felt very impatient, okay. Long Haochen raised his right hand once again, and when that brilliant golden light appeared in front of all the leaders of the warrior temple, they all had foolish looks, especially, those older powerhouses from the warrior temple. All of them were in tears in front of this sight. Among them, the most affected was the head of the warrior temple, Zhou Yonghao, Boss, boss, I can finally see your divine sword again. I finally see it reappear to the light. Boss, why is it that at that time you didn't listen to my dissuasion, you became the hero of humans and the hero of the warrior temple? Don't you know that I lost this good elder brother at that time? Chiu Yonghao rushed forward, firmly grasping the aria of the goddess of light. He even lost his voice due to crying bitterly. All the powerhouses of the warrior temple repeated the same action as before once again, giving a warrior salute to the divine sword in the hands of Long Hochen. Sensing their sadness and reminiscence, Long Hochen's eyes turned gradually red in spite of himself. The most shocking was that the aria of the goddess of light in his hands seemed to have understood the words of Chiu Yonghao and actually emitted a buzzing sound. It appeared as if this divine sword was also mourning with grief. After a long time, Chiu Yonghao recovered from his sadness and wiped the tears on his face away. This silver-haired elder looked at Long Haochen with red eyes, Kid, did you come specifically to return the sword of Commander Yi? I want to thank you on behalf of the warrior temple. Long Haochen lightly nodded, Temple head, I happen to be about to address this subject. The divine sword reappeared, and is indeed of too great importance to the warrior temple. 
Thus, although I gained the acknowledgement of the Divine Sword as its owner, I want to seek approval from you and all seniors from the Warrior Temple to use it as my weapon. I pledge to you and everyone present here that I won't let this Divine Sword of Ancestor Yi collect dust in my hands. Chiu Yonghao appeared sluggish. Although he felt extremely excited, he still kept himself from insisting on the matter. What he thought was that Long Haochen was returning the Divine Sword, but he didn't look ready to deliver it. This meant he really had the intention to take possession of the Arya of the Goddess of Light. Long Haochen also didn't seem resigned, but showed his categorical attitude towards the Divine Sword, as its true owner, Long Haochen. Then what did you come for today? Chiu Yonghao asked calmly. Long Haochen replied with a respectful tone, Today, I came for three things. The most important one, is that I need you and the warrior temple to accept that although I cannot leave the divine sword here, I wish to let the sword intent of ancestor Yi remain in the warrior temple, because this is something that should belong to your warrior temple. Chiu Yonghao was startled, to leave the sword intent of commander Yi. How are you thinking of doing this? He felt more and more curious about this young man. Of course, his deepest wish was to see the aria of the goddess of light remain here. It was only that he clearly understood the position of Long Haochen for the Night Temple. Han Qian designated this kid as the sole successor of the Night Temple, which meant he would be the future temple head of the Night Temple. Forcing him to leave the Divine Sword was thus no good thing. To say nothing of the rest, that old man wasn't easy to handle. Long Haochen looked at the sculpture of Yi Wushang, telling him in a deep voice, Hall Master, if you agree, I wish to leave it in this sculpture, so that every powerhouse of the Warrior Temple can see it and perhaps get some enlightenment from it. This is the only thing I can do for the warrior temple. If Long Haochen had said such words right off the bat when seeing him, Chiu Yonghao would definitely not have seen this young man in a good light. This was just too hard to believe. In those years, among so many powerhouses of the warrior temple, none managed to bring out the sword intent of Commander Yi. But how about this young guy? Chiu Yonghao didn't know Long Haochen's exact age, but he guessed he wasn't even 20 years old. But right before, the sword intent released from Long Haochen's right hand had shocked Chiu Yonghao enormously. He was completely certain that even Commander Yi couldn't have shown such attainment in swordplay at this age. This young guy was as expected a genius among geniuses. After pondering slightly, Chiu Yonghao slowly turned around, looking at the higher-ups, and inquired from them, What are your views? An elder looking approximately the same age, as Chiu Yonghao replied in a deep tone, Not proper. Commander Yi's sculpture already stood untouched for hundred years. How could it be changed so lightly? This isn't something we can decide on. In case the sculpture gets broken, we'll be unable to explain that to the thousands upon thousands of warriors from the temple. Xu Zhongliang spoke next, head, auxiliary head, I believe we should let him try. Long Haochen managed to succeed Commander Yi's divine sword, and this already proves the trust the divine sword placed in him. Only he can possibly have gotten some understanding pertaining to Commander Yi's sword intent. If that won't do. The elder dressed as an auxiliary head by him cut in with a categorical shout, what's to be done if he fails? Could we bear the loss? Before doing anything, you have to consider the aftermath first. Then, only if the worst possibilities can be withstood can you act. Undoubtedly, this elder could be considered as quite a conservative person. Next, the powerhouses from the Warrior Temple expressed their views, though the overwhelming majority wasn't willing to let Long Haochen alter the sculpture of Yi Wushang without further discussion. Chiu Yonghao could see that if he didn't address the topic directly, Long Haochen would definitely not leave the Divine Sword here. Nonetheless, this was not surprising. Anyone would do the same, since this was after all a powerful Divine Sword. Although Chiu Yonghao could see that in the Divine Sword in Long Hochen's hands had yet to completely regain its bearing of those years, that was still a powerful weapon of the legendary tier. Anyone possessing this kind of Divine Sword wouldn't easily be convinced to let go of it. Giving a look to Chiu Yonghao, Long Hochen shook his head, Temple Head, I cannot. The Arya of the Goddess of Light recognized me as its master, and I am the only one who can use it. I think that ancestor, you wouldn't hope to see his Divine Sword buried in a dark room. I will let it run free in the demon territory, and kill powerful enemies to let it drink its fill of demon blood. I will permit this sword to let its true brilliance reappear, and then reconstruct its sword soul. Thus, I can only decline your request. Chiu Yonghao declared deeply, what if I would exchange it for a weapon of the epic tier? Also of the light element. Long Haochen was shaken deep inside. He obviously knew the meaning a piece of epic tier equipment held. 
In fact, the powerhouses possessing a piece of epic tier equipment in the word could all be described as blessed with an incomparable privilege. The reason why the Knight Temple could remain as the head of the six great temples for so long was because they had divine tools such as the divine thrones. But the Warrior Temple actually didn't even have a divine tool, and weapons at the epic tier would already be the most powerful weapons they could take out. According to Long Houchen's knowledge, the Warrior Temple had in total less than five pieces of epic tier equipment. Without a doubt, any piece of equipment at the epic tier would cause his strength to go up by leaps and bounds. The enticement was undoubtedly huge. However, Long Houchen still shook his head, apologies, temple head. To me, this divine sword is even more important than a divine tool. When using it in battle, I can sense the bearing of the ancestor ye of those times. No matter whether it is to increase my strength, or a boost to my will, it is too precious to me. And as I have just said, while holding on to this divine sword, I will definitely let its glory of those years reappear. Young man, you are too arrogant. The elder who was addressed as auxiliary head stepped forward and arrived at Chiu Yonghao's side, letting a massive pressure envelop Long Houchen. The people present were all powerhouses from the warrior temple, and although they couldn't really act against Long Houchen, giving him some pressure was still possible. In front of such a strong pressure, Long Houchen's face still remained unaffected. Standing perfectly straight, he declared respectfully, Senior, I am not arrogant. I am only speaking the truth. Otherwise, I wouldn't be appearing in the warrior temple so brazenly. If I simply had used the aria of the goddess of light to battle against the demons, I'm afraid that the warrior temple would have difficulty to identify me at all as the holder of this divine sword. Today, it was ex entirely out of sincerity that I came. Chiu Yonghao waved his hand, blocking the pressure coming from that elder. Deep inside, he was secretly stunned. In fact, although Long Houchen had the strength to be the captain of a demon hunt squad at the commander grade, he was still only at the sixth step of cultivation. Confronted with the pressure of a powerhouse at the ninth step, he still spoke frankly and with assurance. This wasn't something an average person would be able to do, Houchen, how about this? You just said that you would be willing to accept our warrior temple's trial. Warriors and knights are a family, so we naturally won't send someone to compare notes with you. Let's do as you said. If you can leave the sword intent of Commander Yi in a stone, as you promised before, this will be the proof that you are qualified to wield this divine sword. On the other hand, if you fail, you will leave the divine sword at our temple, but I will still give you a weapon at the epic tier. For any other piece of equipment, Chiu Yonghao would definitely not have done this. He was already forcing the other side with overbearing power. But the aria of the Goddess of Light was really too important to the warrior temple. Even keeping it at the temple, with no one able to use it, was okay. Long Houchen gave Chiu Yonghao an ardent look, and took a deep breath, okay, I am promising you. However, if I don't succeed, I will just leave the divine sword here, but won't demand a piece of equipment of the epic tier from your noble temple. Please bring a stone. He could understand the eagerness of these powerhouses from the warrior temple, but under the pressure of these elders, Long Houchen's pride was finally set to flame. Underscore, I will prove to you that I am qualified to have this divine sword. Hearing him, Chiu Yonghao appeared to have an apologetic look. Turning around, he gave some instructions, and naturally someone went to do the task. It was that elder, the auxiliary head, who left hurriedly. Long Houchen didn't talk with Chiu Yonghao anymore, but sat cross-legged where he just stood before, and entered a meditative state in front of all those people. The whole process went as natural as the flow of a stream of water. Seemingly only by sitting down, he became like an old monk in an instant, a solid boulder. How full of prospects, underscore Chiu Yonghao secretly couldn't help, but exclaim in admiration, and actually felt jealous of the Knight Temple. To show such qualities at this age, this Long Houchen was bound to become a cornerstone for the Knight Temple in the future. If his growth went smoothly, the Knight Temple would gain another unrivaled genius, that should actually even surpass his own father. If Long Xingyu attained the rank of Divine Knight merely in his forties, what about him? At what age would he get to harmonize with a Divine Throne? Forty. Or even before reaching this age. A short time later, a dozen powerhouses from the Warrior Temple brought a huge rock to the hall. Seeing this huge rock, Chiu Yonghao couldn't help but show a change of expression, giving that auxiliary head an inquiring look. The auxiliary head earnestly nodded to him, his lips doing some movements as if to say something. Chiu Yonghao felt hesitant, but still nodded. Looking at Long Houchen's current state, the apologetic feeling he had increased even further. 
This huge rock was oval-shaped, and entirely dark. However, it let out an extraordinary aura of steadiness and depth. Looking at it, one wouldn't think of seeing a piece of stone, but rather a deep cavern. Reportedly, this was a heavenly meteorite recovered by the warrior temple. Incomparably tough, it would be extremely difficult even for a piece of equipment of glorious tier to leave a trace on it, and for a piece of equipment at the legendary tier, an extremely large amount of spiritual energy would need to be poured inside to inflict the slightest cut. And furthermore, this piece of heavenly meteorite was actually comparable to refined gold in adhesion of spiritual energy, while surpassing the latter in terms of toughness by a large amount. It was just because there never appeared a refiner confident in being able to make a piece of equipment out of it, that it was left in the treasury of the warrior temple for so long. Today, it was obviously with the purpose of making things hard for Long Houchen that they actually brought this piece of heavenly meteorite out. Even if he had the ability to leave the sword intent, inflicting a cut on this piece of heavenly meteorite wasn't something that could be done with a half-assed amount of spiritual energy. Seemingly sensing that the huge stone was in place, Long Houchen slowly opened his eyes, immediately revealing an amazed look when staring at this three meters high heavenly meteorite. In those years, Long Xingyu had told Long Houchen that the warrior temple had a treasure amongst all treasures, and that was this piece of heavenly meteorite. If it were refined into a piece of equipment, or used to refine another one, even a little piece of it would make it rise in rank. Especially for weapons, the results would be very clear. Long Houchen slowly straightened up his posture, and walked over to this heavenly meteorite. Never had he carved anything before, but he did some research on carving. However, what he had to do today wasn't carving, but to leave some sword intent behind. This was an entirely different concept. Walking five meters away from that heavenly meteorite, Long Houchen stopped moving and stood there, concentrating on the deep aura released by this piece of heavenly meteorite. No one disturbed him, only watching silently. Chiu Yonghao was feeling very complex emotions. He actually didn't know whether Long Houchen would succeed or fail, but neither of the two results would be bad to the warrior temple. I request the right to have the assistance from my mount and spiritual stove. Long Houchen asked calmly, without even turning back. Chiu Yonghao replied, of course you can. Long Houchen nodded, and pointed a finger on his left hand to his side. Immediately, a purple glow of light occurred and then, a massive creature appeared in the view of everyone present. The shock brought by Hao Yue was truly great. His ten meters long immense body stood like a small mountain, but more extraordinarily, he had four different large heads. Appearing behind Long Houchen, he immediately looked around. His neck straight, little light, little flame, little green and little blue swept their eyes over everyone in the warrior temple, actually standing proudly. What mount is that? Underscore Chiu Yonghao and the auxiliary heads looked at each other, in total shock. Never did they see this kind of magical beast before. Although the fluctuations of spiritual energy spread out from it weren't something they noticed, its body seemed to be full of unique qualities, especially from how proudly he stood, giving a sentiment of transcending reality. Right at that time, a low chant was initiated by Hao Yue's four huge heads, and they assumed a very peculiar stance. Only the mouth of Little Light stood straight, while the other three heads were crawling downwards, attaching themselves to the neck of Little Light, and looking up at him while chanting. Immediately, intense surges of breath of the four elements wind, fire, water and light were spread in the shape of violent fluctuations from Hao Yue's body, for elemental magical beast. Xu Zhongliang couldn't help, but cry out in alarm. Chiu Yonghao's look became a lot more concentrated, now suddenly feeling some regret about the fact he made things hard for this child. Long Haochen was right, if he didn't come today, the warrior temple wouldn't even have gotten to see the aria of the goddess of light. This child came out of goodwill, and yet this was how he was treated by them. However, on the other side was the aria of the goddess of light. This may be the first time Chiu Yonghao felt embarrassed to such an extent. And right at this time, Long Haochen set in movement. On his back, brilliant light radiated and four spiritual wings unfolded, absorbing the light essence in the air valiantly. Meanwhile, Long Houchen held his right hand high, letting the aria of the goddess of light reappear in his hand. A more extraordinary scene followed, and a golden figure seemed to have appeared on the back of Long Houchen. At the same time his four wings unfolded, this golden figure appeared in the eyes of everyone present. Clad in a golden battle skirt, with a golden staff in hand, beautiful golden hair and six transparent wings, she appeared as tall as a human, only her pair of slightly pointed ears exposed her origins. The fairy race from the ancient times. That old auxiliary head couldn't help, 
but show an alarmed look. Dozens of years ago, he had been studying the power and prestige from ancient fairies. However, he never saw the real appearance of a fairy from the old times. Yet Yating appeared in everyone's view, with exactly the same appearance as he imagined the ancient fairies to have. How could that not astonish him, no, this is a light fairy. Chiu Yonghao was after all the head of the warrior temple, and had a powerful perception. Yating actually didn't care about letting others see her, and just like how you were, right after appearing, she immediately started the chant of an incantation. A dense golden radiance instantly spread out from her, directed in Long Haochen's direction. Long Haochen raised his head, gazing at the aria of the goddess of light in his hand. However, he didn't chant any incantations and concentrated all his attention on the divine sword. The massive sword intent radiated by the aria of the goddess of light was slowly withdrawn under their gazes, vanishing into the sword. But with each portion that vanished, the look of the aria of the goddess of light changed, shifting from a brilliant golden color to dark gold. Long Houchen's eyes gleamed electrified, and he seemed to be forming a single entity with the divine sword. It appeared as if the aria of the goddess of light gained sharpness, and he felt as if the blade was a part of himself. The tyrannical sword intent kept increasing without pause, and the golden color from Long Houchen's body looked more and more rich and powerful. In this state, he seemed to have returned to those hills in the illusory paradise, but this time, he was not only filled with comprehension, but also with a disdainful pride. Even in front of a powerhouse of the ninth step, he wouldn't cower. Hao Yue and Ye Ting poured spiritual energy into Long Houchen. Hao Yue was using his well-mastered light elemental spiritual boosting, but this time, Little Light wasn't the only one using it. The other three heads converted their own elements entirely into light, and assisted Long Houchen with their full strength. Ye Ting was using the spell Brilliant World in its simplest form, but her brilliant world was already over three times more effective than ordinary ones. And all this light elemental spiritual energy went through her purification. Without exaggeration, the fact Long Houchen couldn't increase his total spiritual energy in battle aside, his battle strength right now matched, at least powerhouses, totaling 20,000 units of spiritual energy. Yating and Hao Yue's supportive abilities could only be described as extraordinary. Finally, the aria of the goddess of light completely turned dark golden, and even his body changed color. This feeling wasn't strange, but incomparably great. His overflowing sword intent was even felt outside the warrior temple. It was as if this strike could split heaven and earth. Right at that time, Long Houchen moved. Launching his left foot forward, he brazenly struck with the heavy sword in his hand. It was simple and direct, and didn't have any embellishment. Holified Azura Strike Although Long Houchen didn't use storing power at the time of launching that blow, his sword intent, close to a condensed shape, was frantically exerted in the air, without producing any sound nor leaking any spiritual energy. Only seeing this dark golden flash of light, everyone felt the incomparably sharp sword intent causing cracking sounds in the very decorated warrior temple hall. The powerhouses of the warrior temple had no choice but to urge their spiritual energy into a body armor. And all it took to armor themselves instinctively was the mere sensing of this sword intent. What if they would really face this attack? Chiu Yonghao's expression changed this time for real, because he unexpectedly found out that if the one facing this blow was himself, even though he could defeat Long Haochen, he didn't have the certainty to stay unscathed. This child's cultivation was not yet at the seventh step. And Chiu Yonghao was a veteran powerhouse at the ninth step. However, to everyone's surprise, that heavenly meteorite remained unaffected, and after launching this strike, Long Houchen stumbled heavily. Ye Ting was the one supporting him from behind, to prevent him from falling down. A soft golden radiance kept being released from Ye Ting's body to heal Long Houchen, and Hao Yue's forehead slowly rose, their eyes turning purple. On Long Houchen's forehead, nine lines of a purple pattern appeared. The only difference from the past was that after his awakening as a god's chosen one, the color became purple gold. Long Houchen was lightly shaken and slowly stood up straight. The aria of the goddess of light, that returned to its usual golden color, was absorbed back into his right hand. After executing the strike right before, he actually temporarily fainted and recovered with the help of the healing from Hao Yue and Ye Ting. However, all of this was worth it. The strike right before clearly fused the comprehension he gained from watching the sculpture of Yi Wushang with his own level of sword intent into one. Without exaggeration, his current comprehension on sword intent now reached a very deep level, at least matching Yi Wushang at the time he was 30. None of the powerhouses from the warrior temple said anything, because they didn't know what to say. 
Although they had just seen Long Houchen fail, the terrible sword intent they saw right before was just too powerful. The ones with the deepest feeling were Chiu Yonghao, and that auxiliary head, who had seen Yi Wushang in battle before. Right at that instant, they felt as if they were seeing Yi Wushang's resurrection. Just from feeling this sword intent, they all understood that Long Houchen was indeed qualified to wield the Arya of the Goddess of Light. They wouldn't find another person of such kind even in the whole warrior temple Houchen. Chiu Yonghao stepped forward a bit, wanting to give a few words of consolation to this child. He was already thinking of whether it would be possible to convince the other higher-ups of the warrior temple to let this child become the master of this divine sword. Long Houchen turned his head with a weak look, smiling with difficulty at Chiu Yonghao. He now felt weak to the extent of being unable to speak, and if not for the help from Hao Yue and Yating, he would have fallen in a state of deep unconsciousness. His consumption of spiritual energy from before was just too big. It wasn't only about spiritual energy, but even included his own mental and physical power. By now, he felt too weak to even lift a single finger. Of course, his condition kept improving by the minute with the coordinated help from Hao Yue and Yating. A layer of deep purple light continued being released from Hao Yue's body. While Long Houchen absorbed this purple light, his physical power returned bit by bit, while Yating was offering him her purest light essence. Chiu Yonghao let out a sigh, Child, I have a suggestion. Although you failed, you still did more than enough. I understand that at least at the present time, you are the only one who can wield this divine sword. The Arya of the Goddess of Light really found a very good owner. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.